Today we're at the Frederick Grinnell Training Center in Cranston, Rhode Island, where we'll install and set a Tyco model DPV-1 dry pipe valve. The Tyco DPV-1 differential style valve can help meet the demands of large volume systems, particularly those exposed to freezing temperatures. Before installing the valve, be sure to consult the technical data sheet TFP-1020. We will now trim the DPV-1 valve. If you order a pre-trimmed version, the valve will arrive with the following steps completed and ready for installation. To begin, make sure all nipples, fittings and devices are clean and free of scale and burrs before installation. Next, apply pipe thread sealant sparingly on the male pipe threads. Install the valve onto the riser, securing it with grooved couplings. Care must be taken to make sure that check valves, strainers, globe valves, etc. are installed with the flow arrows in the proper direction. At this stage, any unused pressure alarm switches and or water motor alarm connections on the DPV-1 must be plugged. The pressure relief valve provided with the valve trim is factory set to relieve at a pressure of approximately 45 PSI, or 3.1 bar, which can typically be used for a maximum normal system air pressure of 40 PSI. 2.8 bar. The pressure relief valve may be reset to a lower or higher pressure. However, it must be reset to relieve at a pressure which is in accordance with the requirements of the authority having jurisdiction. To reset the pressure relief valve, first loosen the jam nut and then adjust the cap accordingly, clockwise for a higher pressure setting or counterclockwise for a lower pressure setting. After verifying the desired pressure setting, tighten the jam nut. Installation of an air maintenance device is also recommended. Conduit and electrical connections are to be made in accordance with the requirements of the authority having jurisdiction and or the National Electric Code. The following steps are performed when initially setting the model DPV-1 dry pipe valve or after system operation. To begin, close the main control valve and close the air supply control valve. If the DPV-1 is equipped with a dry pipe valve accelerator, Remove the accelerator from service in accordance with its technical data sheet. Next, open the main drain valve and all auxiliary drains in the system. Close the auxiliary drain valves after water ceases to discharge. Leave the main drain valve open. Depress the plunger of the automatic drain valve to verify that it is open and that the DPV-1 valve is completely drained. Open the optional alarm control valve if it was closed to silence local alarms. If you are resetting the valve as a result of a fire event, Replace all sprinklers that have operated using the same type and temperature rating. To reset the dry pipe valve and return it to operation, push down on the reset knob to allow the clapper assembly to reseat. There is no need to remove the cover plate. Next, pressurize the system with air or nitrogen to 10 PSI or 0.7 bar, and then individually open all auxiliary drain valves in the system piping to drain any remaining water in trap sections. Close each drain valve as soon as water ceases to discharge. Partially open the low body drain valve to assure that the riser is completely drained. Then close the low body drain valve as soon as water ceases to discharge. Next, refer to table B in the technical data sheet to determine system air pressure requirements, then restore the system to the normal system air pressure as necessary to hold the DPV-1 valve closed. The following steps help ensure a proper air and water seat in the valve. Depress the plunger on the automatic drain valve to make sure it is open and that there is no air discharging. Partially open the main control valve, then slowly close the main drain valve as soon as water discharges from the drain connection. Once again, depress the plunger on the automatic drain valve to make sure that it is open and there is no water discharging. The DPV-1 valve is now ready to be placed in service by fully opening the main control valve. Once a week after a valve is reset following an operational test or system operation, the low body drain valve and any low point drain valves should be partially opened and then subsequently closed to relieve drain backwater. Continue this procedure until drain backwater is no longer present. For additional information about the installation process, maintenance questions or any other technical support needs, please visit tyco-fire.com.